Amelia.
we will start our cannot say meeting. <laughs> Thank you. Distinguished guest, Mr. Speaker of Norfolk, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me and my fellow parliamentarians to welcome you in this assembly, which is the main official institution in this country just after the Council of Ministers. Since our new statute in February 2004, this assembly is composed of 57 members elected through popular vote every five years. Due to the electoral law, half of the assembly is composed of women, as gender equality is now a recognized principle in French country. Since the last election, the majority is run by a coalition of different political parties. Coalition lead, lead, leaded by Mr. Oscar Manutaite Maru, the president of Tahiti Nui. The political composition of my assembly highlights two main blocks. One, on the one hand, the majority is composed of 29 members under the label of UPLD. On the other hand, the Tahuer Ahuid Atira opposition accounts for 23 seats. The remaining five parliamentarians are in the center. Since I have been elected as the president of this assembly, I have fully promoted dialogue which have liberated the words of all. I have also allowed the retransmission of all our leg legislative sessions through internet which had fostered transparency at a higher level. This has been one of the achievements of the Tawi spirit and vision. As far as our new competence are concerned, we do have the ability to make new kind of decisions that we officially call law of the country, what we call in our language, loi de pays. As I was saying earlier, it's a great honor for me to greet you as descendant of the bounty navigators with which I have close family ties. As far as what we remember from the particular period of history, it appears that the bounty on its return journey from Tahiti spent four months in Tupuwe. On Tupuwe, a well-known Nyeri called Tamato received the navigators. Nine generations after him, from whom I am also related, I am also a descendant. It is with deep emotion that I welcome you in Tahiti. As you are no doubt aware of, the bounty navigators became known as the mutineers of the bounty. As we gather here today, the commemoration of the bounty journey is a powerful signal coming from you, recognizing the origin of your forefather. I beg your pardon, our Tupuna. This can only strengthen our links between Norfolk Island and Tahiti Mui. Let us seize this unique opportunity to bind our two assemblies. Why shouldn't we go further by writing a memorandum of an understanding concerning cultural and commercial trades that we may promote between our two countries? Why not? As a matter of fact, 
This point was extensively discussed at the forum in Port Moresby, from where I had just returned. The main idea of the Pacific Plan is to strengthen link, the links between our island nations through economic sustainable development, good governments, governance, and security. I presume that the commemorative ceremony that took place during my absence went well, and I do apologize for my not being with you for the, that special event. However, I'm sure that this token of friendship will be long remembered by our people. Let me take this opportunity to wish you all a very pleasant visit and stay in your mother country. Their speaker, their guest, thank you. Marur. Uh, Mr. President Geros of this Legislative Assembly in Tahiti, uh, your deputy, uh, your members who are present, uh, distinguished guests that are included here today, and members of our respective delegations who are families and descendants uh, of the bounty. Mr. President, thank you warmly for the welcome that you have given us. We can all see that it is not just a formality in your welcome, but it has been a emotional family welcome, and we thank you warmly for that. We are proud that uh, we have an association together as families, which we share not only uh, with other people in Tahiti, but with the person who heads this assembly today. Uh, it, is, it is a wonderful suggestion that you make that we might strengthen our cultural ties between this place, the cradle for us all, and other places that share the family heritage. And your idea of a memorandum of understanding that might foster cultural ties is a wonderful suggestion. I wonder if I might develop it for a moment and say this. I informally, a moment ago, mentioned 2006. It may well be, it may well be, that we could work towards a memorandum of understanding. And if you would care to accept our warm invitation to be present in Norfolk Island in June 2006, which is the 150th anniversary of the arrival of the descendants in Norfolk Island, we might have an opportunity, hopefully, we all know that there is administrative work to, for, to foreshadow all of that, but we might work towards maybe signing such a memorandum in Norfolk Island, all of us together. The token of friendship that you have mentioned uh, is, is something that whilst you have used the words a token, uh, it is something that we all feel strongly, emotively, uh, and warmly. And you have today made great opportunity, and we thank you for it, in strengthening those in this assembly. Yesterday, we all know, we attended a memorial unveiling and it was a marvellous occasion. It was the key that brought us all together as we have gathered over this day and other days. And, uh, and I would like in this chamber to say that we have honoured during that time our, particularly our four mothers who were of this place. I mentioned yesterday that they have not been sufficiently written into the history books, so you might excuse me if I mention it again today so that it gives added profile to that dimension of our families. As our token of friendship, I wonder if I could present to you on behalf of those who are gathered uh, a small token, but also uh, some flags, obviously the Norfolk Island flag, 
but also the Pitcairn Island flag, and we all know the connotation of all of that, so that on occasions you might feel uh, that you might feel appropriate, that you might show them or fly them, and know that we share something with you in terms of the symbols of our respective families. May I uh, humbly offer them to you uh, in this place. Thank you warmly for your reception. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now I would like to ask my friend, members of the Territorial Assembly of this Parliament, to go through an exchange point of view with your guests. Mirve man ato tato, ine tato e tau aproite tayme. Ehor awo it man orto ito tato ta aitio perite ni no te tumite tato o mairon matao. Aitio ito maino maru. Mr. President of the Association. Dear members of the association, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are very happy to welcome you among us this day within this assembly. Um, as our president had mentioned in his speech, that um, going back to the ninth generation, he uh, he had. Uh, uh, descendant uh, from from that uh, one of the uh, one of the mutineers of the bounty. Last evening, I was attending the um, ceremony in Mahina, and while I was sitting, and I was looking out out to the ocean, and I was trying to imagine how was it 217 years ago when the bounty anchored there in Mahina. How were them on the boat? What were they looking? How, was they, how, were, how were they looking? Were they handsome men? Were they tall men, big men? And I was also trying to imagine how was the, the mothers of, of, of those times, how was the ladies of those times, the Wahine? And the vision that I had, there were, all of them were nice looking. Those who were on the boat, and also the people of Tahiti. <laughs> and also the people who greeted the bounty, the crew of the bounty. And uh, there was a there was a good exchanging in between the two, those from the Bunti and those from the land of Tahiti. When I was uh, very young, I saw the movie that was made. And I, I, I know for sure it's not the same thing. It's not exactly what happened back in 217 years ago. But I suppose that um, when, um, when the Wahines at that time decided to follow to follow those on a bounty it just because there was sort of love in between them so they followed they followed those on the uh, on a bounty and they went they went some in Pitcairn, some went to Norfolk after that and some went to Rarotonga when I look at you at this time and say, oh, how blessed you were to have mothers from here, from Tahiti. Mothers from Tahiti, and you're here, back where your mothers were from this island of Tahiti, and they were beautiful ladies, beautiful Wahines, and I can see how you're proud to be part of, part of this island of Tahiti. 
And so we're also proud and honored and privileged to have you with us and to see that somewhere we are we're linked together and that uh, we have the same spirit as Sahitian and we also have the same spirit as the Pacific Islanders. And we like to say to you that we feel the same as of today, that we love you very much and that we have a lot of respect for you because I'm, I'm just thinking of those Wahine who left their island and went away and never did come back to Tahiti. But they made their families over there where you are issued from. So it is really a, a privilege to have you with us today. And so this is what I would like to speak on behalf of all of our members here to say that we love you very much and that we have a lot of respect. We have heard about you the Pitcairn, the Norfolk, the Royal Tongan, we've had a lot of, especially with the Royal Tongan, we have a lot of contacts. Um, but I personally have families in, in Royal Tongan, the, the Brown family, but they were not on a bounty, but I personally have family over there, so um, the, our relations are very, very close together. Thank you very much. May God bless you. That's all. And my name is Jean-Michel Carlson. As, as you can see, I have a Tahitian name, Carlson. And uh, it's uh, the ancestor arrived here and fell in love with the, the country and the, the people, the Wahine. So they stay here. And uh, so that's why we say we have the same family, Navigator arriving here and falling in love. And uh, we are really pleased to greet you and we are happy to have you with us. It's uh, really nice to have uh, let's say family again meeting from uh, different, different places. Thank you very much. From the guest who want to to speak, anyone? Yes. Just press the button. Yes. Mr. President, and your deputy members and fellow members of Parliament, and the Norfolk Island contingent, our speaker, of course, David Buffett, and our friends and family from the Cook Islands. It gives me great pleasure to thank you all for this fantastic invitation you've extended to the people of Norfolk Island. It's been an honour and a privilege to have come to meet all our families and it's just been such an overwhelming event and an experience that I'm sure none of us here in this chamber will ever forget. And we'll take back to our home and our families lots of fantastic memories from what we've experienced here with you people just in one week. It's been very emotional and we love you too and it would be very hard to leave our families to return to our homes but we must do this and we hope to see you in Norfolk next year. God bless you and thank you. Mr President, on behalf of the delegation from the Cook Islands, it gives me um, great pleasure to be received here. I bring you the warm wishes of our Prime Minister and his Cabinet and members of the opposition. Sitting right here beside me is the wife of the former Prime Minister of the Cook Islands, Lady Louisa, and also now he is the leader of the opposition, Sir Geoffrey Henry. We are here as representatives of the descendants of the bounty 
but with us also in our in our t uh, delegation is uh, Pa Ariki of Takitumu, who has just walked in, who is the Paramount Chief of uh, Takitumu, Cassie Eckleton, who is the um, French representative uh, council, as well as a Mataiapo under Pa Ariki. We have also the, the leader of the dance team that we are uh, here and proudly representing us, Rangi Pauka. Where are you? Mama Rangi. Um, they are here to support the occasion of our descendants. And we have also Ta Lyons, Cassie Kotika, uh, Chris Daly, and Mi'i Kota, who has come to support and the rest are our children and the offsprings of our branch, which is Edward Young. So, Maruru, Maruru Roya Oto, Fari Maira Ayamato, or Oromato, and this is a big honor for us to be sitting in the noble house of the assembly, territorial uh, assembly of the Cook Islands. One thing I am just blown away is that. So many women sit up there. We are so backwards. In uh, Rarotoa, there's only two struggling to stay into parliament. Next election, there's going to be many more. We're going to make sure of that. <laughs> so, uh, so once again, uh, it is a very big honor for us from the delegation of the Cook Islands, Maruru Yemanuya, who else want to to speak? Mr. President, members of the Legislative Assembly of Tahiti. Thank you very much for your hospitality and what you have done for us since we've come here to Tahiti. We feel quite at home and I don't feel as though I'm a stranger here. I feel as though I belong here and thank you very much. Um, I would like my son Charles to say something on on behalf of the young people, he's my son, I've got two sons here, uh, on behalf of the young people from Africa, because they, they are the ones that will be carrying on the heritage in, into the future. Charles, can you say something? We feel, I honestly feel overwhelmed by the hospitality that uh, we've experienced here, um, and it's so wonderful to meet up with a uh, family that uh, we may not know if we've had. And uh, we hope to see as many, as many of you uh, as possible next year in Norfolk Island for our 150th um, Bounty Day. Thank you all. Mr. President, sorry. If I may, I would like on behalf of our delegation present you with a little token of your kindness and hospitality this um, afternoon. Good deal. Please, the This is from Rarotoa, your sisters and brothers in uh, Rarotoa. Rana.
Thank you very much, and uh, I would like to introduce you Mrs. Uh, Paariki from uh, Rarotoo. Mrs. Perus Mary. Mary, yeah, okay. And uh, Mrs. E Eagleton, huh? Consul, French consul, huh? Yes, Sylvia. Sylvia, okay. You welcome in this uh, assembly, parliamentarian place. And uh, after I have heard uh, what you have said, uh, I have no word to to tell the emotion that I feel in uh, every everything that I, I I have heard from you. And I would like to tell them, Mr. Speaker, it's not so easy to run an assembly 50-50. <laughs> you have to take care of that. But it's still a good thing. But it's not so easy. It's not so easy. We are trying. We are trying. And, and we are trying the best. <laughs> And now I would like to invite you for a refreshment just uh, on the Fariputi, a place where you, I am sure you will enjoy. Any other thing no? from the members? Moi, je vous propose qu'on aille derrière parce que après j'ai mon émission à télé I would like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a beautiful hat. Beautifully worn hat, isn't it? Yes, yes. yes. My family in yeah. 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 uh, yeah. 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 the Yes. Yes. We'll take the picture. Uh-huh. Thank you. Mm. Thank you.